Well, I think I supported Keir Starmer when he's running for the leadership. I disagree with some of the things he's done. I think it's a ridiculous mistake to um, kick out this uh, MP because he simply supports workers on strike. Because mm. I, I was born in 1945. I grew up in a world where, I mean, trade unions, almost everybody was in a trade union, you know. Half, I mean, we've only got half that number now. And, you know, as soon as I started work, I joined the local union. And, you know, if, they, if the management were talking about not giving you a pay increase, you had a strike and all of that. And so I, I totally support the trade unions. And I think Keir Starmer is making a mistake, but I do believe he can win the next election. And I do believe he'll be a good prime minister. He, but, he didn't but, come into politics to be a celebrity. He came into politics to make life better for people. You think? I mean, look, if you, but if you look at it, the, the heart of the Labour Party, uh, in the, back in the old days, was, it was a very union-led yeah. party, and there's a lot of investment from unions towards the party as well. Mm. Um, don't you think that Keir Starmer's actions, by doing that, would have put off some of those unionists? No, no, I mean, it's that it was the trade unions created the Labour yeah, Party a century ago. And... It's not Keir Starmer that's done it. It was Tony Blair, when he became Labour leader, cut the influence of the trade unions. Mm. I mean, until Blair became the leader, I'd go to the Labour conference each year, filled with trade unionists, talking to party members and all of that. Um, and then Blair just wound it all down. I mean, mm. I think actually, I don't think Blair was really Labour. I think basically he was a Liberal. And the only reason he joined the Labour Party because he fell madly in love with Cherie, and she was being caught up in the Labour Party. No, you say, that's 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 I'm, that's I'm not joking. I literally, he, in the three years he was at Oxford University, he never once went to a political event. Mm. It was only when he met Cherie, when he started working, they were working together, and he fell in love with her, and she was completely caught up with it. I think that's the only reason he joined the Labour Party.